are, this is inside the dashboard of the My Function Health or FunctionHealth.com. Um, if you want to come back to the page where I'm sharing my story, you go to hardlotion.com forward slash function health. So here's the fun stuff. I have, I went, my first lab was done on January 3rd. That's 2025. My second one was a week later on the 10th. And then, um, the results are coming in. I don't know if they're all in yet or not, but so far 102 are in. I think there are more than 102 bile markers. And then the full, actually, I'm gonna look at this, the clinician notes, so I think there's still some more lab tests coming in. Clinician notes will come two weeks after all the results are in. So probably mid-February, I should have um, all my information. So I'm 90, I'll just kind of click through and show you what this looks like. This is really cool. So this, it gives you your, your um, is that it? Nope, that's not, that's, I was gonna say here, your blood type is in there. Um, all, like all this green means that I'm in range, I'm in range, like electrolytes, potassium, magnesium, sodium, like this is so cool. Lead, mercury, I don't have to worry about. I'm really curious about the female uh, health. What I don't see it on here are, unless it's going to, I think it's going to be here when it shows up, is my progesterone and estrogen. But testosterone looks good. My heart stuff, wait, am I in all or am I just in the, let me go here. No, I want to do all. Where's it all? Well. Mm -mm. Okay, 102. So let's go back. Here we go. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> looks like it. This has to do with the cholesterol. So if you were to click on that, I can see like even here, I'm really close to being in range. Like if it's below 67.29, I'm at 66.56. So it's really close to being in range. I really, I'm not a doctor and I don't know how to interpret this yet. Uh, but if I, be, this is what I love about it. Um, I don't need to be a doctor. It's going to tell me what I need to know. So it tells all of these, I can sit here, click through every single one of them for all 125 or whatever there will be biomarkers and it's going to tell me what I need to do. So um, why it matters that I could be out of range and then you can click down here to the summary, the causes, look at all that stuff. And I can even go through in here and say, okay, I know I don't have a problem with this. I do know that from the results I got, like I do have low omega-3 fatty acids in it. They're going to tell me to have more, uh, either supplement or eat more fish. <laughs> um, here we go. So have the good fats, vegetables, high fiber, and grass-fed meat, poultry, and fish. Um, what to limit, it'll tell me what foods to limit. If I need supplements, what I should be trying to increase with. The symptoms, self-care, giving me some ideas like this. I do strength training, I do aerobic. I'll bet you though that if it says sleep better, <laughs> I, that's not going to show up very well for me. If I want more tests, I can go back in there and get more tests done and um, follow up and so on. So that's just one of the biomarkers, which is really cool. So I can go back and look through every single one of these and get all that information. So I'm, I'm waiting to see what the doctor says about all of this, though, because I know there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. And I can click on every single one like this. I probably need to do something about unless the doctor says otherwise. And a lot of these depend on the other biomarkers. So the fact that this cholesterol is in range might affect my um, everything that these add up to be. Anyway, white blood cell count though. Let me see where I'm at with that. I'm like right below in range. I'm so close, like 3.8. I'm at 3.7. Could have just been a bad day. I could have had <laughs> Could have been in range, in range if it was slightly different. So kidney, immune, liver, metabolic. Like I'm happy to see my vitamin D and my zinc, which I have been supplementing with quite a bit. And magnesium, I take a lot of magnesium. Those are all good. Cortisol's good. I'm glad to say that DHEA is good. Um, thyroid's good. Urine's all good. So that's what it tells you. Okay, what's fun? Is it this one? No, it's not that one. When you go to, I'm trying to find the part where it tells you your, um, 
I know it's going to be not the biomarkers. Here we go. Biological age. So I'm actually 53 years old. This says I'm 10.6 years younger. I'm actually 53 and a half. And this is, I'm 10.6 younger. And then if you click on that, like what exactly does that even mean? It will tell you here. Like here's my calendar age. I could have shown that I'm actually older than my calendar age. Um, if my if my results were different, but right now this is good, and maybe I'm going to try to get even younger in the next four months. We'll see what what I need to do. So this is tells you it gets really in depth on what you can do to change that. So and then including if you want to know like how in the world do they even calculate all that? I'm not going to read all this out loud, but you can sort of look through and see how they calculate that, and um, if you think that's legit or not and including the sources and disclaimers. So there's just a lot, this is loaded with stuff. So again, you only have to pay the one-time fee. It's a subscription though, so it will uh, reset the following year unless you unsubscribe. Then you get one blood lab, which is about 10 to 13 vials of blood. And then you go a week later and get another one so that they kind of have a, um, a standard to go by. And then they come back to tell you what you should be working on. That's going to be on the clinician notes when I when I get that back in from the doctor. And then I have like four months, anywhere from four to six months for me to work on that. And when I do that, I can go back and um, get my results, my blood done again and see where I go from there. So I'm a 90 in range. I figure that's pretty good. 12 out of range. We'll figure out what that means once I get... Once I hear back from the clinician and then go from there, there are a lot more tests you could actually do. So there's a hundred plus lab tests. And then the, after that, there's going to be a follow-up test with 60 and then you could buy, let me just show you real quick. Um, this is going to go through a whole bunch of questions though. So anyway, if I can get to the, there are just a lot more. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all these. People don't need to know. <laughs> um, but you can actually go through and get more tests done. So there you go. That is um, functionhealth.com, or you can go through my link, and that's hardlotion.com forward slash functionhealth, and take control of your health.